Okay, all right, guys. Yesterday we were talking about different agriculturally important genera of bacteria. That included, can you remember the name? That included Xanthomonas. That included Pseudomonas. That included Ralstonia and Urinia. Those all were phytopathogenic. Some of them are phytopathogenic and all were gram negative rod shaped bacteria. Now let's talk about agrobacterium. You should have known about agrobacterium because you recently studied about agrobacterium mediated genetic engineering. Agrobacterium is widely used in genetic engineering because it has TI plasmid or RI plasmid which can be transferred into the plant without any other assistance the plant within the plant the agrobacterium can you listen me yes sir okay within the plant agrobacterium can transfer it uh, plasmid and it can express the gene of that are present in the plasmid that's why gene of interest is ligated in the agrobacterium tumefaciens uh, plasmid then and the bacterium is inserted into the plant tissue. That's how the genetic engineering works with the agrobacterium tumefaciens. When we are talking about agrobacterium tumefaciens, it is a gram negative, G minus, the gram negative. Aerobic, it needs air for the growth, that is oxygen for the growth. Straight rod, 0 0.6 to 1 into 1.5 to 3 micrometer in its dimension it has subpolar to peritrichus flagella we already studied it in peritrich example of peritrichus flagella smooth and non-pigmented colony it has smooth colony that is that has uh, smooth edges and the colony are non-pigmented what does it mean by when we grow in artificial me medium, the agrobacterium forms non-pigmented creamy white colony, which is smooth. It produces high amount of extra polysaccharides, extra cellular polysaccharides. EPS stands for extra cellular polysaccharides, okay? And are soil inhabiting. Some of them are plant pathogenic, for example, agrobacterium tumefaciens induces tumor in apple. Agrobacterium tumefaciens, apple ko tumor cause gare pathogen. All right, did you get that? Yes. Sir. Okay. Now, these were the plant pathogenic and gram negative genera now we are talking about the gram positive genera of bacterium in this semester we're gonna know only two bacterial genera that are gram positive and plant pathogenic these are clavibacter and streptomyces clavibacter is recently named as cornea bacterium if you see cornea bacterium or clavibacter they are same Okay, cornea bacterium or clavibacter. Clavibacter, when we are talking about clavibacter, as we already told, clavibacter is a gram positive. It is an aerobic club to rod sept, as you can see in the figure. Club sept is juttaku tolua, sani, suche juttaku tolua. Bisma fuleko, that is curb. You can see some pictures here in the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. That, that is club shaped. Solane in the middle is club shaped. And 0 0.5 to 0 0.9 into 1.5 to 4 micrometer. That is micro in its diameter. It is oxidase positive bacterium. They are usually non mortile or motile by means of one to two polar flagella. For example, Clavibacter michiganensis. Okay, 
Clavibacter michiganensis is a plant pathogen bacterium that affects potato plant. Okay, Clavibacter michiganensis. Another is Streptomyces. Streptomyces name stands for Streptomyces stands for. What does the name suggest? The Streptomyces by the name, you can figure it out. It's somewhat similar to fungus, mycis, mycin, fungus. Okay. Fungus just to is ko naam kina sata banda. Yo bacteria boy rapani fungus like growth garsi. That's why yo fungus just to naam. Streptomyces is a gram positive filamentous fungus ko filament unsa. This lai ami high fee banso. Yes, company individual cell on the cell cell jodi re yuta resa bansa the salam le filamentous bansa. It has 0 0.5 to 2 micrometer in diameter. It has diameter, but the length is non predictable. You know, your filamentous sir. Yes, diameter on sir, length jati pani on sir. It has oxidative metabolism, non motile, and produces antibiotics. And the the bacterium, when grown in medium, it produces weight of mycelium. Mycelial weight production, garsa. Okay. For example, pathogenic streptomyces include streptomyces scabies, as you can see in the figure. Potato is suffering with scab. The scab is caused by streptomyces scabies. These are the plant pathogenic bacterial groups or genera. In those genera, we studied about two plant pathogenic gram positive bacteria and five gram negative gram gram negative plant pathogenic bacteria. Those five gram five gram negatives were can you recall it? Anyone can you tell it? Tell me. Without looking at your note, can you tell me what were the five plant pathogenic genera of the bacteria that are plant gram negative? Pseudomonas, Danthomonas, okay. right. Ralstonia, Erwinia, Anitespochi, Agribacterium. Perfect. Thank you. Now you know the genera and you need to memorize the characteristic of each individual genus. Okay. All right. Now we are moving into fastidious vascular colonizing bacteria. It is a group of bacteria that has fastidious nature, difficult to please, that is hard to culture or unculturable. That includes organisms that are hard to culture or unculturable. Fastidious vascular colonizing that colonize the vascular bundle as we already talked about those organisms. Okay. These are indeed bacteria. In classification, in phylogenetic classification, you saw the classification in alpha proteobacteria. Okay, alpha proteobacteria, the Candidiatus liberobacter asiaticus falls on the alpha proteobacteria, while mycoplasma, like organism, phytoplasma falls on the molecules. These are indeed the bacteria but it has different habitat. Mycoplasma-like organism or phytoplasma, shortcut MLO, mycoplasma-like organism, or phytoplasma simply. Phytoplasma are wall-less, you need to memorize, wall-less phloem colonizing fastidious bacteria. What does it mean? It lacks cell wall. The phytoplasma lacks cell wall. And phytoplasma resides in phloem. It is a fastidious bacteria. These three things you need to memorize by heart. When phytoplasma is stained with gram stain, it is a gram negative. It has no flagella. The shape of the phytoplasma ranges from spheroid to ovoid to irregular. That is paleomorphic. In previous lecture, lecture, we were talking about the paleomorphic. 
organism that falls under tenericutes. Okay, tenericutes. When we classified bacteria on the basis of morphological feature, that is, okay, morphological classification. Morphological classification, my dear, I am a paleomorphic bacteria because it lacks the cell wall. So the cell size, size and shape is varied. That is known as paleomorphic. There are three layers. Three unit layer of unit membrane that is co that covers the cell and lacks cell wall and is strictly phloem living that is strictly lives inside the phloem. Other tissue ma is co presence no dayna. Phloem inhabiting fastidious bacteria that cannot be cultured. The the bacteria cannot be cultured in artificial culture. Hence, are obligate. They are obligate pathogen. They are transferred by opports and silage, which sucks the phloem of the plant. Since the bacterium lacks the cell wall, it is insensitive to penicillin. The pala thasa penicillin likhe garsa banda cell wall lai hinder garsa. So penicillin halio bani one. And only cell wall containing bacteria like matre kill girls of penicillin, but it lacks cell wall. The cell penicillin that is insensitive, phytoplasma is insensitive to penicillin. However, tetracycline acts on the 70 years ribosome, 70 years ribosome like tetracycline, let disturb girls. That's why the pathogen is sensitive to tetracycline and insensitive to penicillin. The cell size ranges from 200 to 800 nanometer. Okay, micrometer when the sano nanometer cell ranges from 0 0.2 to 0 0.8 micrometer. Okay, genome size is 500 to 1500 kilobase per kbp. Example. Candidatus phytoplasma pruni, prunus decline caused by Candidatus phytoplasma pruni. Okay. Another example is Candidatus phytoplasma asteris. Is the causal organism of little leaf of Brenzel, the Candidatus phytoplasma asteris. Okay. That's all about the phytoplasma. In non cell, you can you need to memorize. Phytoplasma is a wallless phloem colonizing fastidious bacteria that cannot be cultured. For example, Candidiatus phytoplasma esteris that causes latent leaf in Brinza. Okay. Now, the next slide. Can you see the slide next? No. Is it visible now? Yes or no? No, That's slide the kick is the Really? You need to tell me how you are following me then. Hey, you go slide here on Martin, the screen shot for a on Martin and the air this thing there. Okay, all right. Then good for you. You guys are do, doing very well. Okay, all right. Maybe it is visible now. Okay. Now we are talking about fastidious vascular colonizing bacteria, another group of fastidious vascular colonizing bacteria that we call as spiroplasma. Spiroplasma also falls under mo molecules. Okay, under molecules, it is a, a gram-negative aerobic and helical mycoplasma. That means it has helical body. What are you? As you can see in the picture here, inside the flow xylem, xylem vessel bitra yuta to south of Pokako Tanrodotro. Thunder so I'll get the bang you to take a bang you helical. 
अलिकति बटारिएको खालको हेलिकल माइकोप्लाज्मालाई हामी स्पाइरोप्लाज्मा नाम आफैमा स्पष्ट छ नेमले के भन्छ स्पाइरल हुन्छ दैट इज स्पाइरोप्लाज्मा ओके स्पाइरोप्लाज्मा इज अ वाललेस इट डु नॉट कंटेन इट डु नॉट कंटेन द सेल वॉल जाइलम कोलोनाइजिंग दैट रिसाइड्स इन जाइलम फास्टिडियस बैक्टीरिया दैट इज वन अफ द difficult to culture bacteria it is a gram negative aerobic okay helical that lacks true cell wall covered by unit membrane it is a motile motile cell banda helical cha te screw like ghumcha rotate garcha that's how it gonna move it forms fried egg colony in artificial garcha when grown in artificial culture it forms fried egg colony that means tapaile anda ko poch bhanera anda na bolikana fry garnu huncha ni testai edge haru edge ekdam definite sharp edge na bhaikana ob edge bhako center ma ridge portion bhako jaha pahilo bhag huncha anda frauda testai tara sano त्यस्तो स्ट्रक्चर फर्मेसन गर्छ जसलाई हामी फ्राइड एग कोलोनी भन्छौ यसरी आर्टिफिसियलमा कल्चर गर्न सकिने फास्टिडियस भास्कुलर कोलोनाइजिंग ब्याक्टेरिया भनेको स्पाइरोप्लाज्मा इज ओन्ली वन फास्टिडियस भास्कुलर कोलोनाइजिंग ब्याक्टेरिया दैट क्यान बी एस्टाब्लिश इन आर्टिफिसियल कल्चर बट बट इन आर्टिफिसियल कल्चर टु एस्टाब्लिश इन आर्टिफिसियल कल्चर the phytoplasma culture should be supplemented by sterol jasto kunai phytoplasma corn ko plant ma makai ko plant ma grow hune phytoplasma cha bhane telai media ma grow garna lai makai ko plant nicharera tyam bata ke nikalnu parcha sterol nikalnu parcha nicharai ma audaina tara maile banna khojeko makai ko plant bata sterol extract garera मीडिया में हाले पी मत कम्प्लेक्स फूड डिमाण्ड फुलफिल हो ग्रो होना सकता नए ग्रो होते भर संबंधित प्लांट को स्टेरोल हाले पी मत्रो पैथोजोन ग्रो कर इसी ग्रो कर अंडा को पोच बना जो फ्राइड एग कोलोनी फर्मेसन कर इट इज रेसिस्टेन्ट टू पेनिशिल अगेन द सेम स्टोरी बिकज इट इज वर्ल्ड लाइस and inhibited by tetracycline neomycin erythromycin for example spiroplasma c3 is the causal organism of citrus tuber spiroplasma quinkeli is the causal organism of cronstadt okay that is all about the helical mycoplasma that is spiroplasma now rickettsia like organism Now, rickettsia like organism falls under proteobacteria and alpha proteobacteria, rhizobials, bitra, rhizobiaceae family ko member, because it has cell wall. Other fastidious like vascular colonizing bacteria ko cell wall thiye na one and only rickettsia like organism has cell wall. It shows gram negative reaction, but sometimes it may show gram positive reaction so it is a gram based variable it shows gram variable reaction in many of the time that is gram negative in certain times sometime it shows gram positive reaction so it is a gram very variable it is an off flagellated no flagella straight rod 0.2 to 0.5 into 1 to 4 micrometer it consists of a cell wall sensitive to tetracycline and penicillin both of them phloem inhabiting fastidious bacteria that cannot be cultured example citrus greening peers disease alpha alpha dwarf disease for example candidatus candidatus liberobacter asiaticus that is citrus greening causal organism of citrus greening Ang long bean is another name of citrus greening. It is a Chinese name. Okay, Ang long bean is a Chinese name. Citrus greening is caused by Candidatus liberobacter asiaticus (CLA). 
now you remember that cytoplasma also starts with candidatus rigid cell like organism also start with candidatus no, the name of cytoplasma and rigid cell like organism starts with candidatus what does it my mean mean by candidatus candidatus yuta genus hoina tara pani candidatus comes in front of the genus genus is liverbacter okay species is asiaticus jun bacteria ko naam ko agadi candidatus auncha that cannot be cultured in up to recent days that cannot be cultured in artificial culture are named with candidatus prefix candidatus in front of their generic name okay all right did you get that yes sir okay now that's all about the bacterium or bacteria bacteria ko bare ma hamle bacterial classification bacterial certain physiological aspects battery bacterial cell ko ultra structures bacterial genus that are plant pathogenic genera ko uh, example with fastidious vascular colonizing bacteria ko bare ma pad now let's talk about virus what is virus what are viruses you know virus are intermediate between living and non living why because the virus when the virus is inside the tissue of the host it acts as a living organism when outside the host it acts as a non living organism that's why it is kind of intermediate between living and non living organism but we consider virus is living now we should consider virus is living why tapai le tha cha virus non living bhay pani ha baba corona virus kei samay rauncha kei samay tyu gaera multiply garna sakcha tara kei samay pachi tyu function tesko function virus bhay pani function loss huncha bhannale dead huncha virus dead huncha bhanne concept recently so if something dies that should be considered as living all right anyway that is a matter of debate but first thing first when we defining virus virus are acellular that means lacking the true cellular structure cellular structure in the cellular structure it should contain cell wall or cell membrane it should contain cell membrane nucleus or nucleic material cytoplasm ribosome and other cell constituent okay but in case of virus there is nothing such, like such okay virus only contains as you know virus only contains genetic material which is covered by capsid capsid protein genetic material may be made up of dna or rna RNA or the DNA lies certain amount of protein like cover gari ko unsa or a virus there unsa. Manu ko matlab yu cell hoy na virus ko particle ho. I repeat, yu cell hoy na virus ko particle ho. Thei bara definition of virus ma we say it is an acellular entity, acellular entity. Okay. In addition, we say the virus. are sub microscopic what does it mean sub microscopic bhaneko microscope le pani na dekhine microscope le dekhindaina elai herna ko lagi ke chaincha electron microscope chaincha so virus are sub microscopic virus are obligate one in one le living cells ma matrai afno vital activity garne hunale is an obligate tesaile virus ko definition garda dinda kheri it is an acellular sub microscopic and obligately parasitic entity which is made up of dna or rna as a genetic material covered by a protein protein coat that is known as capsid okay 
Now you know the definition of virus. Virus is simply a you know, certain fragment of DNA on a certain fragment of RNA on the like protein capsule cover that is virus. So a virus ma koye pani DNA ra RNA songe yonda na kunai virus DNA containing virus on set kunai virus RNA containing virus on set. There are multiple structures of virus. Some are regularly shaped. That is regular shape virus on set. This ma regularly banale polygonal. अथवा geometric regular geometric pattern में virus को चाहिए particle formation बात समझे नहीं that is regular कुने regularly rod से पुन्सा कुने regularly hexagonal होन्सा कुने virus particles हरु irregular होन्सा okay for example tobacco mosaic virus is a rod से virus okay now when we are talking about the virus that infects plants हमले बने हो Virus, virus को कुरा गर्दा, virus, DNA containing virus होंचा, RNA containing virus पनी होंचा, both DNA containing virus and RNA containing virus. Can you see the slide? Tell me, please. Yes. Yes, sir. We are talking about plant virus now. As we already discussed, there are some DNA containing virus, there are some RNA containing virus. Okay? RNA containing virus, DNA containing virus. Now, I mean, coronavirus, coronavirus, long single stranded RNA also. RNA on so genetic material by the capsid liquor gram. So that is coronavirus. But plant virus kukuragada kiri DNA containing virus panyona such RNA containing virus panyona. So when I thought so DNA from what is an entric model DNA is a double helix. Okay. You memorize the double helix of DNA. That means in general DNA contains two strand that is on one wind it together that is general concept in virus we can see single stranded dna also okay single stranded dna also so there may be dna virus some of dna virus are single stranded dna containing single stranded dna some of plant virus contains double strand dna similarly we know the concept of rna rna is a single stranded but in virus, in virus that contains RNA, some virus may contain double stranded RNA, some virus may contain single stranded RNA. So here you can see DS stands for double stranded, SS stands for single stranded. Example of double stranded DNA virus is rice tungro bacilli thermis and so on. Example of single stranded DNA virus is magistric virus and so on. Example of single stranded RNA virus, latest necrotic virus. Example of DS RNA virus, rice dwarf virus. Okay, these are the examples of diversity of virus that contains multitude of genetic material. But in general, when we are talking about the plant viruses, the plant virus, majority of plant viruses contains RNA as a genetic material. That is single stranded RNA as a genetic material. Overall, 78% of plant viruses are made, made up of single stranded RNA as a genetic material. Now, you know the concept. Most of the plant viruses are made up of RNA and they contain only single stranded RNA. That is the concept we want to deliver you here. Okay, now the multiplication of virus. Multiplication of plant virus or multiplication of virus. Every virus follows the same route for the multiplication. 
as we already studied, bacteriophage is also a virus. Bacteriophage enters into the virus that combines the genetic material and replicates the genetic material, produces capsid protein and packs the capsid and the genetic material and will be released. That's how the bacteriophage multiplies. In similar fashion, every plant virus, even human virus, multiply in the similar fashion. There are six step, steps in the multiplication of plant viruses. That is attachment. First is attachment. Second is penetration. The third is replication. The fourth is viral protein production. Fifth is assembly. And the sixth is release phase. Let's talk about the attachment. Attachment of the virus. Virus comes in contact with the cell of the host and gets attached to the gets attached to the host cell. The attachment is very specific procedure which needs the interaction between the capsid protein and membrane protein of the host cell. What does it mean? For example, can you see the slide? Yes, sir. Okay, for example, Topin Bozarma in Nobo, Targari Kinazanabo, Topinko Hatma, Corona Ipug, Corona Co, virus Ipug. Let us consider the Pelly Max Lawn Bassa, Matma Corona Co virus Ipug. Topin Goraunbo, Hatnak Mukmanolaga and Kanadunobo. अब साबुन पानी ले आते हुए पची कोरोना का वायरस साबुन पानी संगी वास पाया रहता है तो वायरस हाथ बाटा छिड़ दे ना की ना छिड़ दे बंदा हाथ को सेल में संबंधित वायरस को रिसेप्टर छाए ना तो सेले के समय पची आते हैं ना वास डाउन कर देंगे वो नाउ योर हैंड इज फ्री ऑफ वायरस यू आर नॉट इन्फेक्टेड � कोरोना वायरस को लागी रिसेप्टर होने सेल ह्यूमन को सेल्स पनी को नोजिस्ट्रिल्स में था नाक भीतर से फोक्सो में था नोजिस्ट्रिल रा फोक्सो को सेल्स आरुम है कोरोना वायरस को रिसेप्टर सरु से रिसेप्टर के बंदा कोरोना वायरस को जोन बायरा स्पाइक प्रोटीन सा तो पहले देखना उनसा कोरोना वायरस को पिक्चर छाती को थे के बंसे फोक्सो के सेल में था अंतिस्ते नोजिस्ट्रिल भीतर से नोजिस्ट्रिल भीतर पूगे ना मनी कोरोना वायरस तब मेरे को खुट्टा माउस जान माउस साबुन पानी ले दो इधर मुझे डांस कोरोना वायरस अटैच होना कुलागी त्यो स्पाइक प्रोटीन संगा मैच करने लॉक एंड कीप मॉडल बनाया था सा इंडियस फिट प्रोटीन होने से त्यों म्याद बायो वाने मात्रे थी नियरू बीत्र छिरना सकता वायरस पार्टिकल ना बाय छिरना सकता ओके दिस स्पेसिफिक प्रोटीन इनवेलप प्रोटीन मेक्स द वायरस स्पेसिफिक फॉर डिफरेंट सेल एक्जेक्टली ए ही बने को की बने को बंदा कोरोना इज स्पेशल फॉर फोक्सो को सेल एंड नोजिस्ट्रिल को सेल तो प अब त्यो हाथ साबुन पानी ले ना दोए करना नाक मालान बो मुख मालान बो मुख नाक कान आँखा सभी स्टेशन ट्यूबलेट जोड़ी है कौन सा त्यां बाटे भीतर नोजिस्ट्रिल में जान सा नोजिस्ट्रिल में स्टेबलिस होन सा संसंगे फोक्सो में जान सा तो फोक्सो में फाइलें सा The very first step in viral infection is the attachment. This requires special enveloped protein. Enveloped by the proteinase structure. My special enveloped protein by पची वो सेल में इसको रिसेप्टर होने से इसको रिकॉग्नाइजेशन को आधार में अटैचमेंट होने से वायरस अटैचमेंट बायो बनी मात्रा इन्फेक्शन होने से ना वही इन्फेक्शन होता है ना तेरे बारे कोरोना वायरस ले आत्मा कोई ले इन्फेक्शन करते हैं कि अब अटैचमेंट बायो फोक्सो के सेल में अटैचमेंट बॉयस के Virus particles inside the enter inside the caps, enter inside the cell of the host. That is individual cell penetrate. 
तपाईले समझिनु भो ब्याक्टेरियल फेज ल्यान्ड गरेको समझिनु भो भने ब्याक्टेरियल फेज ल्यान्ड गर्दा हेलिकप्टर चाहिँ ल्यान्ड गर्छ त्यसले आफ्नो जिनोम मात्रै ब्याक्टेरिया भित्र छिराउँछ दट इज पेनिट्रेसिङ बट इन मेनी अफ द केसेस भाइरस आफै सर्लकै प्लान्टको सेल अथवा एनिमल्सको सेल भित्र छिर्छ दट इज अल्सो पेनिट्रेसन टु काइन्ड्स अफ पेनिट्रेसन त्यसले जिनोम मात्रै छिराउन सक्छ अथवा त्यसको टोटल भाइरस पार्टिकल इन्डिभिजुअल भाइरस पार्टिकल हामी भाइरोन भनेर भन्छौँ भाइरोन नै भित्र छिर्न सक्छ एउटा भाइरस कम्प्लिट भाइरस पार्टिकललाई हामी भाइरोन भनेर भन्छौँ भाइरोन भित्र छिर्छ भाइरोन भित्र छिरेपछि अब त्यसको क्याप्सिड ओपन हुन्छ होइन बोक्रा खोल्छ बोक्रा खोल्छ भने जस्तै क्याप्सिड इन्भेलप प्रोटिन ओपन हुन्छ र त्यसको जेनेटिक मेटेरियल इन्टर्स इन साइड द सेल नाउ रेप्लिकेसन जब भाइरसको जेनेटिक मेटेरियल इन्टर्स इन टु द न्युक्लियस अफ द होस्ट सेल देन इट प्रोड्युसेस मल्टिपल कपिज मिलियन्स अफ कपिज अफ जेनेटिक मेटेरियल बन्छ भाइरसको जुन डिएनए आरएनए को मिलियन्स अफ कपिज बन्छ इनसाइड द होस्ट को न्युक्लियस हैन न्युक्लियस भित्र मल्टिपल कपिजहरु बनिसकेपछि that will transfer to the cytosol now inside in the cytosol next phase is you can see the next phase point number 4 next phase viral protein production of virus ko jo genetic material dna athwa rna ma virus ko dna athwa rna virus ko code protein code garne genetic material cha भन्नुको मतलब त्यहाँ जिन छ जसले प्रोटिन बनाउँछ त्यो प्रोटिन भनेको भाइरसको बोक्रा हो त्यो कोड प्रोटिन गर्ने जेनेटिक अब ट्रान्सलेसन हुन्छ ट्रान्सक्रिप्सन ट्रान्सलेसन हुन्छ र अब कोड प्रोटिन बन्न थाल्छ फ्याक्ट्रीमा कोड प्रोटिन बने जस्तै इन्डिभिजुअल सेल भित्र कोड प्रोटिन अघि बनेको थियो डिएनए अथवा आरएनए भाइरसको जे हो त्यो बनेको थियो नाउ कोड प्रोटिन बनिसकेपछि पाँच नम्बर स्टेजमा के हुन्छ इच इन्डिभिजुअल कोड प्रोटिन भित्र अब के प्याक हुन्छ भाइरसको डिएनए अथवा आरएनए प्याक हुन्छ चाउचाउ प्याक भयो जस्तै चाउचाउ भित्र चाउचाउको सुप हाल्यो अलिकति चाउचाउ हाल्यो सेल गरे इन्डिभिजुअल प्याक सेल गरे तयार भयो फ्याक्ट्रीमा त्यसरी नै इन्डिभिजुअल भाइरस पार्टिकल एज यु क्यान सी द पिक्चर इन्डिभिजुअल भाइरस पार्टिकल्सहरू अब प्याकअप हुन्छन् प्याकअप भएर भाइरोनहरू बन्छ भाइरोन अब रिलिज हुनुको लागि एसएम एसेम्ब्ली पछि अब सिक्स स्टेजमा भाइरोन रिलिज हुन्छ ओके रिलिज हुने क्रममा सम भाइरस गेट र्याप विथ द मेम्ब्रेन प्रोटिन अफ द होस्ट सेल दैट इज व्हाट व्हाट वी कॉल्ड इट एज इन्भेलप प्रोटिन दैट मूव्स टु इन्फेक्ट अ नेबरिंग सेल अब त्यो इन्फेक्ट गरे एउटा सेललाई अब एउटा सेललाई इन्फेक्ट गरेपछि अर्को सेललाई इन्फेक्ट गर्नलाई त्यो भाइरस पार्टिकल अगाडि बढ्छ दैट्स हाउ भाइरस गन इन्फेक्ट भाइरस इन्फेक्ट्स इन्डिभिजुअल सेल भन्नुको मतलब भाइरस आएर एउटा सेलमा ल्यान्ड गरे एउटा फोक्सोको सेलमा ल्यान्ड गरे भने त्यो सेलमा मल्टिप्लाई हुन्छ अरु सेलमा नहुन सक्छ त्यति बेला सेलमा मल्टिप्लाई हुन्छ अनि दायाँ बायाँको सेलमा फेरि भित्र छिर्छ फेरि दायाँ बायाँको सेलमा मल्टिप्लाई हुन्छ त्यो भन्दा परको सेलमा छिर्छ That's how virus gonna multiply. Virus infects individual cell. Got it? Yeah, sir. Yeah. Okay. The next is the transmission of vi virus. Before that, let's briefly recall about virus. Anybody? Anybody from the audience? Can you act as a volunteer and tell me about viroids because we already studied about viroids and we don't have to study in detail about viroids so that information will be enough so can you recall the viroids anybody from the audience can you tell me about viroids anyone roll number 6 class roll number 6 please
Roll number six, please. Roll number 22, please. What are biroids? None of you. Volunteer. Anyone. Open your microphone and explain me about the viroids. Try. Give a try. Nothing wrong. Even you tell me some incorrect information. Nothing wrong. Okay, all right. You guys are... You guys are very reluctant, so I'm going to tell you about viroids. Viroids are infective RNA particles. Simply RNA, short fragment of RNA that, that is infective, that can cause disease on plant, are known as viroids. They do not possess anything. That is just a short fragment of third fragment of RNA particle. For example, coconut, coconut cadang cadang viroid, potato spindle tuber viroid, citrus exocortex viroid. These are the example of plant viroid. These can infect plant, multiply within the plant and are transmitted by the insect from one plant to another plant. Okay. These are called as viroid. Ra viroid ra viron bannu faraksi chho. Agi aamle viron bannai chho. Individual virus particle is viron. Okay. Viroid are infective RNA particle. Koile pani tapaini virus ra viroid lai nami shavnu ala. Virus baata viroid bannne pani hoi na. Viroid baata virus bannne pani hoi na. It is really a different story. Na matre uste bhao. Nam matre uste vau in your kubisma kunai tal mel chain. Byroid just byroid like defined gun parivane simply infective RNA particles are called as byroid. They are transmitted by insect. For example, one other example then is that is all about the viroids. Now let's talk about the transmission of plant viruses. Okay, transmission of plant viruses. Plant virus get spread in the field or within the plant let's first ta talk about the plant virus transmission within the plant la euta meowa ko rog cha meowa ko rog ma plant ma virus aayo ke virus aayo bhanda meowa ko plant ma euta virus meowa ko ring spot cause garne ring spot virus meowa ko plant ma euta insect le laera euta cell ma hal dio what it does the virus recognizes the meowa, recognizes the attachment, the penetration, blah, blah. In the cell, the number of virus formation, the viron formation. Individual, the meowa is the cell, the number of virus, 10,000 virus. Virus particle assembly by the now, the virus concentration there is surrounding cell ma virus concentration comes up. Aba cell to cell ta ki le cover gare ko uncha? Banda cell to cell, cell wall le cover gare aamsa plant ma. So, cell wall vata chhenar virus jana shak dena. Tara cell wall ko bich ma yota chidra uncha, ta pual uncha, just like me plasmo desmata abansu. Tara pahin le, yaha banda pahila plant ko cell wall, cell membrane bako jun plant ko cell structure banaun po hani plant plasmo desmata. Okay, now plasmodesmata bata, yota plasmodesmata bata, orco plasm cell zodiac gonsa. One of the yota cell bo, orco cell bo, bisma plasmodesmata. For example, topoiko yota kotasa, boita kotasa, bansa kotasa, bisma, dokasa. Tissue in yota cells, microscopic scale, my yota cells, orco cells, bisma plasmodesmata. Now, yota cell, jun cell infected theo earlier, tiyo cell ma a number of viruses haru formation maacha, orko cell ma virus kaum chini. Aba, tiyan ta, 
कंसंट्रेशन फरक पर्यो भाइरस को कंसंट्रेशन नाउ भाइरस गना डिफ्यूज फ्रॉम वन सेल टु अनदर सेल भाया प्लाज्मोडेस बाट अब एउटा सेल बाट अर्को सेल मा डिफ्यूज हुन्छ भाइरस ओके अब डिफ्यूज भइसकेपछि अर्को सेल इन्फेक्टेड छेउको सेल इन्फेक्टेड फेरि त्यहाँ भाइरस मल्टिप्लाई हुन्छ फेरि अर्को सेल मा जान्छ अर्को सेल इन्फेक्टेड यसरी सेल टु सेल टु सेल अर्को सेल सँगै भाइरस मुभ गर्दै जान्छ र प्लान्ट मा फैलिन्छ यसरी हेर्दा भाइरस यसरी फैलिदा एक दिनमा करिब 1 mm डिस्टेंस फैलिदै जान्छ 1 mm फैलिन्छ भाइरस 1 mm परको सेल मा पुग्छ आज 1 mm भोलि 1 mm एक वर्षमा 365 mm फर एक्जामपल अब मेवा को एउटा पात को टुप्पो में लागे को 365 mm मने 30 सेंटीमीटर एक वर्ष पच्चीस सम्म पनि बोट में आऊँ देना मेवा को पात जारे रहता है बोट में साल की निशान की ना तो अर्थ इस तो हूँ दें क्या उनसे बना वायरस को डिफ्यूजन को आधार में होने वायरस को स्प्रेड विथ इन प्लांट एकदम कम होता है अगी बनिए जस्ते ये उटा सेल बाट प्लाज्मोडेस माटे बाट डिफ्यूज भो त्या मल्टिप्लाई भो फेरी प्लाज्मोडेस माटे सा और भी सेल में डिफ्यूज भो वन एमएम वन एमएम कर दे सेल टू सेल सेल टू सेल मो कर दे जान सके कर दे जाना कुने ही प्लाज्मोडेस माटे तो अल्टीमेटली कर अ फ्लोयम में जोड़े कौन सा तब ल कुनै प्लाज्मोडेस जाइलम फ्लोयम बने को क्यों मन्ना जाइलम फ्लोयम माइक्रोस्कोपिक हो तरह त्यो ये उटा पानी बगने पाइप जस्ते हैं इस इंटरम से आप उनसे जाइलम में कि फ्लोयम में फ्लो ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट उनसे फ्लो ऑफ फूड मैटेरियल आम्रो लागी पे वो तो जाइलम माइक्रोस्कोपिक न्यानो कैपिलरी होता है ये उटा नैनोस्कोपिक वायरस को लाएगी तो त्यों खोला जस्ते ही होते अब वो सेल टू सेल सेल टू सेल सेल टू सेल वन एमएम वन एमएम वन एमएम कर दे ऑगाडी बड़े को वायरस जब वो लास्ट अप्लाज्मा डेस मार्टा बटर खुद तो खोला जस्तो बास्कुलर बंडल में हम फाले तो खोला मतलब पानी बगी रहा है यानी डिस डिफ्यूज होना ऊपर था ना त्यो बॉगे को पानी संगे संग संगे त्यो वायरस पार्टिकल बॉग ना था उसे कोसरी बंदा है मैं केट केटी में क्या करते हूँ बंदा बाहर आ गोठा लो जाने साइड में नोहर सा चप्पल को फुगलेर नोहर मार ले नोहर में चप्पल पानी ले दौड़ा उसे ठीक चप्पल पानी ले दौड़ा उ तो नॉर्थ को चप्पल संग संगे दौड़े हैं, ठीक? कुछ ही टाउन्स नॉर्थ को संग संगे दौड़े हैं, पति बेलाए कुछ। इसे रही है ना प्लांट में पनी तीसरी नहीं, माइक्रोस्कोपिक स्केल में तीसरी नहीं, तो अरे माइक्रोस्कोपिक स्केल में बास्कुलर बंडल में वायरस लोड होने सा, लोड वहीं से कैसी बास्कुलर बंडल में टुप्पो में और को दिन में फेर में एक दिन में फाइल इंसान बना ले इनिशियली डिफ्यूजन का आधार पर मूव कर सकते लेटर ऑन सिस्टेमिक फ्लो इनसाइड द प्लांट इंसान त्यों बने को जाइलम फ्लोयम में फ्लो कर सकते इस शरीर प्लांट बहुत ही फाइल इंसान वायरस गड़े यस ओके ऑल राइट अब क्या इंसान बंदा हमले के हाथ से प्लांट बाटा मेरिस्टिमेटिक टिश्यू बाटा प्लांट को एपिकल मेरिस्टिम मंसा एपिकल बनेगा टू पो को ग्रोइंग पार्ट लाई लिए रा एक्स प्लांट बनाए रा तेल लाई हमी इन बिट्रो प्रोपागेशन यानी कि टिश्यू कल्चर गरे हो मने वायरस फ्री सीलिंग पाउन सक्षम बंसा तब इनले पढ़न बाय अथवा पढ़ाई में � बनने को पूरा हमले था तो सेल टू सेल मूव करने पर बने वायरस वन एमएम सार्स प्लांट में जाइलम फ्लोयम भीतर दौड़ी नू पर बने कहाँ बाटे कहाँ पुस्से एक दिन टूपो बाटे जरा जरा बाटे टूपो पुस्से 
अब एपिकल मेरी स्टीम को बनोट हेर सब भाई पेला प्लांट प्लांट में अनडिफ्रेन्सिटेड मस अफ सेल बन जो डिफ्रेन्सिएसन भर पात बन के बन को मतलब भाइरस जो जाइलम फ्लोएम में दौड़ी तो जाइलम फ्लोएम टुप्पो में डेवलप भाग होते प्लांट को टुप्पो में जाइलम फ्लोएम डेवलप भैस होते डेवलप हो तर भैस भन्न को मतलब नहर चाहे टुप्पो में पुगे होते नहर टुप्पो भाई कई सेंटीमीटर तल हो अब चप्पल बगा चप्पल हमी तो टुप्पो में कुरा कर चप्पल बगाए नर सीधी सको नर सीधे पीछे तो फिर डिफ्यूज होने पो वन एम एम वन एम एम वन एम एम कर दैनिक रूप में डिफ्यूज होने पे सेल टू सेल डिफ्यूज होने पे क्या नर नई बना छे नर तो सको नर नई बना छे अब बल चप्पल तो बग्ने वाला छेन ते भर सेल टू सेल अब डिफ्यूज होने पे सेल टू सेल डिफ्यूज होना फिर अगिल सेल में गयो वन एम एम वन एम तर एपिकल मेरिस्टिम को ग्रोथ रेट वन एम एम है फ्यू एम एम हो पांच एम एम तीन एम एम है दिन ये अग्लो बनने एपिकल मेरिस्टिम को ग्रोथ रेज रेट इज एक्सिडिंग द डिफ्यूजन रेट अफ द भाइरस अब भाइरस ने एपिकल मेरिस्टिम टुप्पो भेट्द भेट्दन ओके टुप्पो को पछाड़ी पछाड़ी भाइरस दौड़ टुप्पो अगड़ी अगड़ी दौड़ मोटरसाइकिल साठी को स्पीड में अगड़ी दौड़िया तब तीस को स्पीड में साइकिल लेकर दौड़ने भाषा मोटरसाइकिल कहीं भेटने वाला छाइन ओके दैट्स हाउ द टिप अफ द एपिकल मेरी स्टीम सब टिप हो फिर जो टिप को ग्रोथ रेट फास्टर छो टिप अफ एपिकल मेरी स्टीम रिमेन्स फ्री अफ भाइरस पार्टिकल गट इट Yes, sir. Okay, all right. That is the end of the lecture for today. There is a record of recording of the lecture, so you can download if you want to take a look at the later days. So, if you are not downloading that, the by uh, the video will be deleted automatically in twenty five to thirty days. So, keep a download copy if you want it in. Uh, near future uh please uh, ask your friend to attend the class there are only 37 people in the room now so ask your friend to attend the class continuously uh, we will see you on the same time tomorrow thank you stay safe thank you sir